What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five with my man, Eric Sheetaber. And uh, we are going to be talking through the St. Jude Championship. Uh, it's We have real golfers again, Sheets. Yeah, it's we that do. time. FedEx Cup play coming in. Um, so, uh, yeah, but you want to, you want to, any, any sort of overall before we start, you know, bring up, bring up your screen and talk, start talking about each play. Yeah. You know, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's on the way it's in a way good to see the, the good players back, the good players, the best players back and in a way you kind of miss like having to make the decision of whether to play Tony Fino at 10, seven or something like that, you know? Uh, yeah. so I, uh, I'm looking forward to this. It's, a uh, we're getting into these playoffs now, and then you're going to basically get really good fields each um, each uh, event. Which I guess you you want me on an overall slate view. This is actually kind of interesting. I usually don't get to these six K guys like in general, mm -hmm. but because this is a playoff, you don't have like you know like VJ Amitraj playing. You know what I mean? You don't have uh, you know uh, Jack Nicholas getting in there at sixty one hundred. You know you don't you don't have like these guys <laughs> right. with literally no chance. All these guys that are in this field are there because they 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 earned it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like even like all the way down at the bottom, you have guys that are just really really just not bad. You have like I'm just gonna throw a couple of guys out there. Six K flat guys that we played. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that 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 kind of build that I usually don't get to that you always tell me always wins, um, where you where one of these six K guys seems to get there. I mm -hmm. think that's pretty reasonable. For a slate like this, like I'm just kind of like looking at these right now. We'll get to them, but I'm just looking at Step Step Strock at like 6100. You know what I mean? Not like not like 7100, but like literally 6100. And these are actual golfers, you know. So right. as as opposed to the guys that usually get at 6100, which guys have exemptions and all that other stuff. So that's I guess one thing I will I will note. Also, it looks as though only because the playoff only 120 whatever guys are in, so it's a little easier to make the cut. Um, uh and i'm ready to go after it again all right let's do it uh why don't we pull up your screen and we'll we'll go by tiers yep all right and uh yeah this is i mean this is gonna be interesting because there's a lot of guys at this top top level that uh i mean it's just weird to see all these great names again and everybody looks like a good play because of it yeah uh Sheets, how are we? How are you ranking the top side because i'm having a really hard time separating these guys well the first thing i will say is that again uh Usually, the way I do have my sheets or whatever, you usually get maybe one 10k guy that that shows up as kind of a top top guy or whatever. Um, the way I rank guys, mm -hmm. I have three. I mean, and, and and it's not and the best player is not even one of them. I, I would say the best three players are. I don't know. So like right now, I have Rory ranked number one. I just do. Um, and then second, I have I have actually Cantlay rated second, and then John Rahm, who just seems way too cheap, even though. He hasn't earned this price in a while. Um, mm -hmm. I have him. And then if I had to rank them, I have to go down a little bit to JT. And this is kind of like really weird. But like, then I go down a little more to Scotty Scheffler, who's done nothing wrong the whole season. And then I go down I have to even more to Xander, who's probably one of the hottest of them all, not to mention Cam Smith, who never loses. So as you mentioned, like all these 10K guys are freaking really, really good. You know, so for me to not... I don't think I'm going to have one of these sheets builds with like a whole bunch of nine and eight Ks. I, I think you're going to have to play these guys. And, and I also feel as though because of the, uh, the presence of some good seven Ks and good six Ks, you can play two of these guys. Um, yeah. uh, and I think that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Yeah. The only guys currently I'm not, I'm not very high on in this range are can't lay and show play actually. So I, but I, I, I would go, I mean, I guess if I'm ranking them, I'd go Cam Smith, John Rom, JT. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, they're really hard not to like everybody in this range. So I'm going to be on the Rom JT can't lay. I'm sorry. The Rom JT Cam Smith, um, as my favorite three, but, uh, can't, uh, Cam Smith and John Rom are, you know, Rom is, it's nice when he's the, and he's appropriately because he hasn't been as good as these other guys have. Um, but he's the seventh highest price golfer. And I don't know if that's ever happened since I've been playing DFS golf. Yeah. Um, all right, down in the in the nine K range, it's a very small nine K range. Um, what do you got for me, Sheets? Um, Fitzpatrick always looks good. Um, I like that. Zalatoris. He's Zalatoris going to be probably on, on the higher end of the ownership, but but he's okay. I I can't do female. 
I, I know I'm supposed to just ignore it. You know what I mean? Because he's 9,700. The fact he's been just so, so strong, but it is bad. It has been against weak fields. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that. The other thing I, the guy I'm not going to play, and I, this might bite me, but I, I, I just, like I said, I have to separate the good fields from the bad fields. And although Cameron Young has obviously been, been, been showing out and to some degree, I, I just, I just think this is too tough uh, to pay 9,300. So probably going to be off of that. So for me, it'll be, you know, Fitzpatrick, probably and then Zalatoris, but he's low he's not going to be low on boy am i really I don't, think, I don't know if anybody in this range is going to be low on personally yeah i don't know I mean, I, I, am i really going to be playing stars and scrubs it's so not the way i play but i think i might end up doing it yeah i don't i don't i don't know what this 9k range is that appealing to me yeah i like Zalatoris, um and i like cam young um, but I'm pretty indifferent on almost everybody else. Uh, Hovland would be my next guy if I had to pick one. Uh, I, I don't mind. I don't, I, I, I mean, and Fitzpatrick is just sort of like the guy, if you always end up with him, like he's probably going to top 20 and almost always top 10, it feels like. So or, obviously or, can't, or, can't or, or win the U S open or whatever. Yeah. Or just win the tournament, I guess yeah. straight out. Right. Um, all right. We get into the eight K range and, uh, boy, I've never seen Morikawa price this low. I will absolutely bite um that is my you favorite just play. Have to, right yeah it's 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 too cheap for i mean he's he skill set wise is not any not so different than the 10k guys and uh for that matter i don't think shane lowry is particularly that far behind him either but my, the guy i'm losing next is going to be neiman and uh i am going to fade tom kim uh that's just where i'm at in this range uh pretty much oh, i i also think burns is burns is a strong play as well so morikawa burns um would be my favorite too and then uh neiman would behind them so let's talk about Tom Kim for a second. So, so I was going to bring this up in our baseball video when you said, um, I think it was Colorado. You were saying Colorado, you know, they, they scored 14 runs or whatever it is. And, and, you know, maybe people will get off of them as a result of that or something. Or who's to say they can't do it again. I was thinking of the Tom Kim play pretty much in the last couple of days about what to do with that, because mm -hmm. he's going to be real. I, I have to imagine he's, he's insanely popular because mm -hmm. Here, here's a kind of a weird, a weird analogy. It, it, it's it, it was once said that the 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 uh, the Bobby Thompson home run game, okay, against the Dodgers, was was the most attended like sporting event in all of history. Like if you pulled the universe, there are probably about seven hundred thousand people who claim they were at that game. You know what I mean? <laughs> like even though there are only like thirty thousand actually at the game, mm -hmm. like literally five hundred thousand people will say they were at their game. <laughs> I, I feel that way about about Tom Kim last week. Like I can't think of a single DFS or or forget that like like golf better who who did not for some reason have Tom Kim last week. Like literally everybody had him, and yet he was still fifty to one somehow. It's just not possible. You know what I mean? Right. Um, yeah. Okay. He's a good play. You know, whatever it is, but but there's he was at the most overbragged uh, uh, score of last week of like mm -hmm. the entire universe. Right. Um, with that said, he's eight K. He's gonna be popular. Guy is pretty freaking good. You know, I, I, the good thing is I am gonna let uh, I'm gonna let ownership like guide me here, and because he's probably gonna be upwards of twenty percent, I am gonna fade him. Um, mm -hmm. I think he is a good price, um, but uh, no, nobody's a good price at 20% ownership for me in, in golf, if you want to know the truth. So uh, so I'm going to fade that as well. The, the guy who I thought you were going to come up with, so I did like an initial build earlier, mm -hmm. and I was between Neiman and another guy to fill it out. And as, as, as much as you were talking about Morikawa at 8,700, there's a guy, what, what about Hideki at 8,400? He's out. He's out. Oh, that's great. I because was going to be into that. Say is that the only thing you have to worry about is the withdrawal. <laughs> yep. So he yeah, solves that solves that problem. Yep. Um. So with that said, my top guys in the range are Shane Lowry, number one. Uh, M close at number two. I know I've had this weird again bias like against playing him in like tough fields, and maybe that's a mistake. Um, but he rates pretty decently for me, and then I really you know. I'm gonna say goodnight, Raquel as well. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Neiman as well. Um, him at 8100. I, I show him a 10 percent ownership. I think that's kind of ridiculous. I think he's gonna get played. I think he. he always I don't know played. because of the Kim being right there. I don't know if you, you know what. That's a that's a really good point actually. I, not, I not to mention that you'll have um, 
for a hundred last year, you could play Homa and you could get down to Wise a little bit too, which we'll talk about. But uh, yeah, and not to mention, well, we'll, we'll go. I'll wait. We'll get there. But um, yeah, maybe you're right. I, I actually like Neiman a lot here. Um, gets on one of those roles, just just you know, just if he's striking the ball. There's nobody better at it, you know. So uh, mm-hmm. uh, I'm I'm with you on that one quite a bit actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I um. I'm not very, I'm going to be very high on, on Neiman this week and uh, jumping down. I think that Homa will get some ownership and I really like Homa. I really like Corey Connors. Well, hey, we have to rewind a second. The, the last time I heard you mention his name, we said we all wanted a big F you for Corey Connors, right? And he ended up not, making it for not making the cut. And yet he was 8% the down. The cut came down. He made it and up top, top 20 and, with 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 basically the best ball striking numbers in the whole field, right? Um, if he could ever make a putt, um, the the results would be better. But what what do you think about guys like that? Because it's weird. You, you hear that you hear that 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 putting is variant. You're supposed to take guys that lose that lose strokes in the field putting as long as your ball striking is good and that and that the putting will even out. But the guy just never makes a freaking putt ever. You know, it's it's mm-hmm. so annoying. Mm-hmm. Um, uh but anyway continue continue on with your with 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 your, with, with your analysis i'm sorry no 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 you're fine um uh i i, I like the uh you know I, I don't know i like i like i like this the 7500 to, to 8k range i'm not going to get down to the 7ks all at once because it's, it's very tricky for me to do the, all those um i think mito and adam scott at 7500 are the two i'd round out with and i don't mind bezayden who oh I, I forgot davis riley aaron wise there's a lot of good plays in this range yeah. Darrell hatton I think the guys I end up the highest on are going to be Homa, Hatton, Riley, Connors, and then Pereira. Um, playing playing Mito off of like a hundred straight missed cuts is 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 rough, but that, you know, he'll he won't be owned at least. Yep, yep. I mean that's I'm I'm just taking a shot on the on the guy who actually I think is going to be a great golfer. I, if he's I mean he's already a really good golfer, but I think he's going to be great. So well, first first of all, we are we are I am definitely forcing it at least. Maybe three lineups of 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 Mito of Mito and Neiman. We just totally have to do it. Yeah, totally have to do the the, the, the even the, even though the current status of that relationship is so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Totally have to do the Chilean sandwich. Um, yeah, absolutely. Definitely I, have to do it. Um, but for me, I mean, it's like the the at the seven K, especially the seventy five and hundred up. You have the total like all the model darlings showing up again, like like. And every week it's Connors, Wise, um, Homa, Henley, and Hat. It's like a it's a lot of H's in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would actually like to go back. I I, I really apologize. But I want to go back to the AK range for just a second. Yeah, just because fine. I forgot him. Um, I want to talk to talk to you a little bit about this. The guy I actually prefer in the AK range to all those guys. I forgot to mention it was Billy Horschel, and and what's interesting about it is. Again, I've been following these the way my projections look to me. And whenever I have a guy that just kind of pops like out of nowhere, like in the top, whatever, mm-hmm. um, he usually wins like two weeks later. <laughs> you want to know the truth? Um, yep. But I'm going to try it this week. Um, so anyway, so so I'm just looking at horse. So we'll get back to when we go through the game later. But all those model darlings are going to, I think they're all going to be on. I mean, Connors, Wise, um, Henley, Homa, and Hatton, like all of them. Um, but Maybe you're right. Maybe you do some no owned Mito off of four straight missed cuts, mm-hmm. and and that's the way to do it. But I think all those all those all those seventy eight hundred plays I mentioned are the strong plays, um, and one of the reasons why I'm probably not going to get to any of this nine Ks though. Yeah, and and it's interesting because then I I like a lot in that range, but I really don't like much in the uh, in the lower tier. The guy I agree. Who- I agree. The only one who stands out under 7,500 for me really is Chris Kirk. Yeah. Um, I still believe in the talent for Thagala. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more guy who I'm going to be heavy on, and that's JT Poston. Um, I you know what? Someone else I really, I really respect gave him out. Um, and uh, that, uh, between you and him, that's good enough for me. Um, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. So that's 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 probably what I'm going to do down here. All the other guys fine i have no problem with any of them um maybe alex norin or sebastian munoz would be next for me but i i just don't think i'm gonna end up getting to them because i'm i'm too in too into the, the upper range and uh jason day after being but tied for fourth and then withdrawing down at 7k 
Oh. I, I just can't oh. do it. He's 7K, but I can't do it. He withdrew after 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 shooting, you know, after after a th- three under. I just I don't trust that he's healthy, so I'm gonna have to 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 not not go there. Um, what do you anything? So you don't have anything really done in the lower seven case? No, I mean I I really don't like that much down here. I mean my, my top play is is exactly yours actually is Kirk. Mm-hmm. I, I will say that. Um, uh, not maybe not in this field. Uh, but, yeah, but I'll just say that Emiliano Grillo is seven K. Yeah, I saw that. I know you were. Uh, I, do. I, I just want to say he's seven K. That's all. <laughs> I'm not even saying I like him. I'm just saying he's seven K. I'll, I'll just leave. Fair it enough. There. Fair enough. Jason Day seven. I mean, there's a lot of guys. That, you know what I mean? Like Brendan Steele seven K. Yeah, it's a better. It's a it's a real field this week. <laughs> yeah, so sort of, that's that's the problem. <laughs> I know. Um, all right. So you, so you mentioned that some of these six K guys and, and we do have real golfers in the six K range. What, what guys are standing out for you? I, I don't have. Yeah. That's the annoying thing is that none of them are standing out for me. You know, I, I, none of them, none of them project well, but I just have this weird feeling that someone's going to, going to, going to be in there. You know, um, the top rated guy I have is, is Troy Merritt. But, but I have to say that across the board, it's like really, really close. I, I, I'm literally, I can, I could roll off 10 names and it still wouldn't cover everybody that I think has a shot in here to get in there. Um, so I would just say, you know what you could do? This is actually kind of cool. If you want to make a rule to have a minimum of one guy under 7K in like every lineup, I think that's actually not a bad idea. And like also it. make sure that none of those guys are more than, you know, X percent of your build as yep. well. You know, just shuffle some of these six Ks and hope to get lucky. They're all going to be two percent owned. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So whichever one you hit, you're gonna you're gonna make a fortune on. Um, yep. I really there's not a single guy in here. I, I would just say I'm just not playing, I and mean, that's the best I can describe this. I, I hear you. I, I actually hear you there. Um, uh, the, the 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 look. Uh, I've got uh, six guys who I'm gonna I'm deciding. Okay, go for it. Uh, Caleb Taron. Johnny Vegas, Tom Hoagie, Luke List, Steven Yeager, and then I've got the uh, general at 60. Yep, got to do it. Got to do it. Yeah, I got to take a shot at a point. What is he projected to be? 0.2% under right now? Yeah. Um, I, I, that, that's the guys who I'm going to probably be on. But I, I agree, and I might I might very well, because of what you said about the top range, I, there's a, a reasonable chance that I end up playing two of these guys in my, my most yeah. of my lineup. So. And by the way, if you don't know who the general is, too bad. You got to go into the Discord then. I'm really you're <laughs> looking at the YouTube thing for free right now. Then, if you don't know who the who the general is, you're gonna have to join the site or go into the Discord to figure out who it is. Yep, that sounds good to me. All right, well, with that, cheats, we get to play the game and talk about who our favorite plays are here and uh, who do you have as winning this tournament. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll I'll try again. Maybe he'll win one of these days. I'll go back to John Rom. All right, you you said it. I like John Rom too, but I will say since you took him, I will take Justin Thomas. I like it. And then uh, we are going to go with the next, well, whatever range you want to top to top ten or top five. What is it? Top ten? Top ten? Top ten. I think it's a little no top. What did I say? No top five. Top five. Top okay, five. top five. Let's do top five. It's a little greedy for me to take this one guy to go top five, so I'm not going to do that. But um, all right, I'll 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 go with um. I'll go with Matt Fitzpatrick. Okay. Um, I'm going to take Zalatoris. Okay. And you've got Fitzy. All right. Um, then, uh, I mean, I, the guy I actually like to top five is is uh, going to be the guy I'm going to use for my top 10 next. So, okay. Who, so you give himself a little room. What's that? Yeah, give him a little room. Like, so, I'll, so I'll just go first. I'll, I'll take Morikawa. I like that. I'm going to go with Shane Lowry. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was not ready for the Lowry for some reason. I don't know why I'm on not as high on Lowry this week. Um, top 27 Ks. Top 27 Ks. Boy. Um, Any of them are going to work. I mean, I, I'll take Corey Connors, but I would put it like a little 1A for Max Homa. I mean, these, I th- really think all these guys are going to come in the top 20. Like when I say, like, when I say, <laughs> when I say Hatton, Henley, Homa, and and uh and Connors, I really think all four of them are gonna have 20. Um I'll go with I'll just pick uh, I guess Henley. All right. Henley. Um 
Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have it under eight K to make under seven K to make the cut. Just pick pick one. I don't know. It's uh... okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm actually not gonna stay on brand and take Kazire. I'm gonna take Tom Hoagie because I think he's. I really don't think he's gonna miss the cut here. I'll go with um. Uh, this guy's gonna miss the cut, so I can't go him. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, just to make the cut, I'll go with uh, Kevin Kisner. Uh, it's a good call for making the cut for sure. All right, now over nine k to miss the cut. Over nine k to miss the cut. This is going to be a tough one for these guys to miss. Um, I'm going to go with. I know who you're going to say. I'm going to go with Jordan Spieth. I feel like I always pick him, and he usually makes the cut and does nothing. See, I thought that you were going to think that I was going to take Jordan Spieth. Like, when you no, said, I, I know who you're going to take, but I wasn't going to take Jordan Spieth. But I, I thought that you would think that I would take Jordan Spieth. <laughs> no, you're um, going to take the guy right above him. Um, In price? Let me yep. see what it is. Uh, that is correct. I <laughs> will indeed be taking Cameron Young. Yep, that's what I thought. That is correct. Um, all right. Well, this should be a fun tournament. We have real golf back, which is fun. I'm actually excited about a tournament for once. I've been very down on golf. Um, I, I do not like it when the best athletes don't compete against each other. Makes sense. So uh, let's have some let's have some good results. I'm gonna I'll just reiterate what we were sort of talking about there. The guys who I've got, you know, between Sheets and I, Rom, Thomas, Lowry, Henley, Morikawa, po, uh, uh, Fitz. I still really like Poston, Homa, Connors. Hoagie and Kisner. So those are, right. those are the those are what 12 guys to build to, that I'm going to be sort of recycling over and over again and then using a little bit of the other guys I like a little bit. Uh good luck to everybody this week. Let's make some money. And uh yeah, uh I will post my uh premium plays a little later today. So good luck. All right.